Hey there, everybody. We introduced you to a Gantt chart when we started this train project, but now I want to give you some more details on how to fill this out. So there's a couple ways to do it. Very first thing you need to do is throw like each teammate's name on it. So let's say I have a team with Mr. Tonkel and Ms. Hobble. We just throw our names up there and then we go around and we just share, hey, what's your favorite color? So then like, I'll say blue, we'll go gold, and we'll go red. Okay, so now you can do this one of two ways. You can say, um, you can assign people by um, initials. You can just say, hey, we're gonna, we're gonna do this and on these days. So you can go by initials or you can go by color. So since I'm blue up here, I'm going to highlight that blue here and I'm going to highlight this gold here. And so this identifies that I'm going to work on creating a folder and Mr. Tonkel is going to work on the team norms. And then Miss Hobbled on Wednesday is going to start the train um the train body make sure that these colors match up okay so what this is telling you is is you're estimating how long it will take for each person to work on their parts now if you think it'll take part of the day or the entire day you fill out a color um, or if you think it might take two days you go ahead and you do back-to-back -back colors another way to do this is to use conditional formatting. So the way you can do that is you can say, is you can say, all right, I'm gonna do initials here and here, and let's say KH is gonna work here and here. And while Mr. Tonkel is working on the team norms, I can easily get the hitch magnet done that day. Um, and then you guys can kind of figure out, all right, the hitch peg, um, I'll do that. And, or the stack and the hitch peg and, and I'll do this one. And maybe Mr. Tonk was really good at um, on shape. And so we'll give him one of the harder parts and Miss Hobbled's really good at it. And so I'm gonna give her, she wants to do the harder parts and um, maybe I'm not so good. So I'll do some of the easier parts. So then what you can do is you can highlight all of these and you can go to format, conditional format. And you can say that every time the text is exactly SP, then it's going to change it to blue and hit done. And then you can add another rule and say, every time the text is exactly TT, it is going to change it to gold. And then add another rule and say, Every time the text is exactly KH, it is going to change it to red. All right. There it goes. I don't know why I didn't get it. But now you can see, like, check this out. If I just put TT here and SP here and SP here, it's going to change it all. Everyone should have at least something to work on each day. And um, you might want to talk to each other about if you're going to be missing a day of school or if e-learning days are, are a tough day to get work done. Maybe for me, I might say, hey, I, I got other stuff that I need to work on. Then I can't work on, on this part or my internet's bad or something. Um, so I'll work on it you know, the, the following day. Um, so talk to your teammates about that. 
figure out what works best for you and your team. If you have any questions, let me know. Let us know. Talk to you later.